which is what it just kind of looks like. Yeah, so I guess uh, I'm going to have to explain this or be real with the fuck's on his face. So yesterday I was at a buddy's house, just walked to his door. It was a friendly dog. I mean, it, it wasn't like it meant to bite me or attack me or anything. It wasn't like that. It was, I was just petting the dog and it kind of jumped up just to like, I don't know, lick my face or nip or just kind of be playful. And I, at first I thought we just kind of bonked heads. Um, and I didn't really think anything of it. And then I stand up and I look at him and he's like, oh shit, dude, your face is leaking. <laughs> so I like touch my face. It's like blood all over my hand. I like look down. It's just like dripping all over the floor. Like anyone that's had a face or lip injury cut, like knows that they bleed like there's fucking no tomorrow. Um, so I guess I could probably put the, we could insert the picture here, but b viewers beware if you don't like cuts or anything. It's not like too bad, but it's a, it's a good size gash in, in, in there. So had to go get five stitches in there, um, yesterday. So we got all sewn back up. And it honestly doesn't hurt or anything. Like, I don't really feel it. I can tell it's there now. It's, like, a little tight. Um, and, and because they're dissolvable stitches for 24 hours, I can't get my face wet. So it's got, like, all the crusty fucking dry blood in there still. Um, which, after I train today, I'll be able to, to wash my face and stuff. But, but yeah, so that was my uh, eventful day yesterday. Um, so, yeah, missed yesterday's training, but we're back at it today uh, to get a little chest and tries in. Um, and yeah, hopefully I don't blow some stitches and bleed all over the gym. <laughs> Make sure I don't have beard dandruff on my black sweater this time. Last time, last video, I was pretty bad with that. Now I'll just have chunks of bloody scab all over my fucking sweater instead. So much better. Okay, so we're gonna start, uh, kind of want to do dumbbells, I don't know. We'll do the Smith incline. We'll wait for him to finish through the Smith incline. Um, and then we're gonna do this drop machine press. So let's we'll just warm my shoulders up a bit, make sure I'm all warmed up. You know, I'm kinda getting old these days, so I gotta make sure I'm lubricated. So um, feel good, wait for this, and we'll get into it. So we uh, did the Smith incline first. Um, I underestimated myself a little bit um, on the first set. Food had come down a little bit and cardio's up a bit. Um, and I, I didn't feel super strong my first bit, so I decided to do my work set with three and a quarter. So I went like nice and controlled and still did a pretty easy 13 with that, um, which was a little, a little on the light side. So 
we did generally I would do like a top set and then a back off reduction weight for the second set we went the other way so I did the three and a quarter for 13 and then we did a back off with four plates got that for eight um, obviously hindsight being 20 I should have done four I probably could have got like 10 11 and then done the back off with three and a quarter but either way we got it in so finished up there two good sets there now we're moving on to our favorite piece here is this Nautilus uh, chest press it's like a converging press it's like this is one of the nicest machines um, so we're gonna get into this we're gonna do three sets here two normal one neutral grip um, and then we're gonna go on to some kind of incline fly or something after that so get into it Jim Weepers, Cody, and I think these are all sold out, but try anyways. Full stack. Two more. Please. And again. Control. Hard up. Come on. Through. That's good. I can feel my grimacing and feel my like scabs cracking on my fucking face, you know? I just want to like grimace hard and just let it break, you know? Probably not a good idea. Two more, two more. Big squeeze. And again. Come on. Through. Shouldn't do that. Cody. It's about pain in the butt like the first day. Because the stitches they didn't want me to get them wet. I'm like drinking out of a straw and I'm like so cautious trying to not get it wet, but it's been 24 hours. I've given up trying to keep it dry at this point. So shaker bottle that it is like normal. Come on, big squeeze. Two more. And again. I got two. Come on. Squeeze and again. All the way. Squeeze. Oh. Ooh, right out of steam there. All done there. We'll uh, I'll get some kind of incline fly. The one thing this gym doesn't have is like a narrow cable stack. It can be a pain in the butt sometimes if you want to like cable press and cable fly. So. We can figure something else out to do. They had that Arsenal incline fly, but it's not really an incline fly if you think about it. So I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, we'll just go there. We'll just do it the tables, yeah. So we'll go there. Okay. All right, so we're on to. Uh, like cable fly using the cast handles just feel nice uh, 
probably just do two sets here. Don't go too crazy. I did three over there. So get two good sets in here. Top set back off. Squeeze them real good. And then we got a pack deck in and a dip. And that'll be it for that. And then I get one tricep in. So I don't know why I say this because you're just going to see it anyways. But that's what we're doing. Come on. Squeeze it up. Come on. Squeeze. be filming my nose hairs again. <laughs> there now we'll get a pack deck this kid's just finishing up there so get in there give me a minute to catch my breath and then uh, finish up with the dip <laughs> Not if you're whispering. <laughs> People were saying that in the last video. It's like Ian's so polite, like quiet Jimmy, so he whispers. Uh, we're gonna do the Arsenal Strike Peck deck here. Um, I'll see how I feel. I'd like to do three sets, but we'll see kind of how I feel after the, the first two. Um, where kind of strength and fatigue levels are. Kind of play that by ear. We'll get into this, get a nice heavy first one. Um, crank it out, and then we'll kind of go from there. And then we got dip. And I just do one tricep movement on this day. Uh, now that I have an arm day in, so I'll do like three or four tricep exercises on the arm day. And then instead of doing two, which I used to do on my chest and tries, I just do one. So I'm still going from doing two exercises for tries a week up to four or five. So we still increase the volume a bit, but I want, don't want to destroy my elbows too bad because I do a lot of pressing here. Um, I have the, the triceps on the arm day and I have shoulders where there's pressing as well, which I also do chest on as well with the uh, shoulder day. So it's a lot, of, uh, a lot on the elbows and the triceps. So I don't want to go too, too wild. So. We'll get that, and we'll get one good tricep exercise in, and then uh, that'll be it for today. Big sweet. Uh, come on. Come on. Big sweet.
Come on. Okay, that's two. I think I can do one more. One more. We'll do one more. Come on. Two sets of dips, one tricep, and we're all done. Have really become like one of my favorite chess exercises like I never really saw them as a chess exercise at, for a lot of years when I started training because I don't think I really knew how to separate engaging my chest versus my triceps I just pushed you know and used what was the most dominant which probably like my you know anterior delts like my front delts and my triceps um, but you know as I've learned to connect better with my chest keeping the weight forward not upright and minimizing elbow bend and keeping it really focused on the chest, almost like a press, and it's kind of squeezing under, almost thinking about trying to touch the insides of my elbows, really feeling the contraction of my lower chest. It's really become a favorite of mine to, to finish off with, especially. I hate that word like a finisher, but it's a good one like that, especially body weight, because if you start it, you can do like 25, 30 reps, unless you're going crazy slow in the eccentric. So you finish off with it, get two sets in there, 12, 15 reps, control the negative nice. It's a really good feeling, so. Uh, I think they've done a lot for my, my chest development, especially in poses, which were weaker for me, were like arm up poses, like ab and thigh, front double, stuff like that. You know, where my chest would kind of lose a bit of depth when I lift my arms up. It's given a little more projection down there, so that's made a big difference for me. So I've uh, really been enjoying doing them. And for my triceps as well, obviously they do get some impact in there as well, which is, has helped, so. Uh, so yeah, try some dips out, guys. Come on. You like the sound? That's good. That's how I sound when I have sex with Morse. <laughs> That's going on the next reel. That's the reel.
Come on. Squeeze. Aquafina. Oh. chest onto our one tricep exercise here. Shouldn't touch that. Um, doing just a cuffed extension. Uh, I guess I haven't talked about this, but since the Olympia, I know a lot of people, I got some criticism for this. Get the good light. Just love the music. Um, and people noticed, especially on my side tricep, the side, my, my right side, the side that I hit my side tricep and side chest from, my outer head, especially of my tricep, looked like it had atrophied significantly, which is not so much, maybe it is a bit, but um, it's not from an injury to the tricep or shooting anything in there, anything like that. Um, I've actually been going to physio every Tuesday, Thursday for a while now, trying to work on it. It is mechanical, so it's in the joint. I have some calcification in the joint there, and if you could listen, hear my elbow, like when I move it, it's just like crack, pop, crack, pop. Um, that's just kind of formed in there over time. And then from that little limiting of range of motion, even if it's three to five degrees, that all those tendons and ligaments and the bicep and everything like that has kind of shortened up to that. So when I'm doing tricep exercises, that arm isn't as getting as straight and I'm not getting that full extension of the tricep. So when I'm hitting that, people will be like, why doesn't he straighten his arm? Well, I can't. Um, that, that elbow, the joint, like it's like this, will straighten and it goes and there's even like a little bit of hyper extension give where this one just kind of goes, it's better now than it was. It was like here before, you know, there, but still I see, you can still, I still have an angle and there's no give in it like the other side. Um, so I've been going to physio twice a week. The guys been working on, we have been making some good progress. Um, if I straighten my arm and push really hard now, I can get some flexion in that outer head of the tricep now. I feel a little bit of contraction. Um, it's still not 100%. It's gonna be a longer term process. Hopefully for the Olympia, it'll be good. Um, the extension will be back and I'll have a few months of training where I can really extend that tricep better. But like even when you're watching doing this cuff lateral, I can really get full extension here. In this arm, it's not. There's still a slight bend here. So that is what is the limiting factor, especially in that side. Um, I guess I could switch sides for my side poses, but anyone that's done side poses from one side knows that switching is feels really fucking awkward. Oh, um, so that's the, everything else other than the tricep on that side of my body is better for doing my side poses. So I don't have any intent to yeah. fix it. Huh? <laughs> I don't have any intent to change it, um, but it's, uh, it's definitely going to be something that I have to work on for the next little while. So, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at with that. Going to keep slugging away on my physio twice a week. Um, you know, and he's just doing manual therapy within the joint, kind of palpating it and trying to, it's basically what he described it as, is like kind of chip away old concrete that's just been there. You know, he's been putting it through range of motions. We're doing some stuff, you know, breaking up um, with like the electro stim, putting deep needles in there and trying to loosen up the forearm and the bicep that got really tight and then get more extension in there as we kind of chip away that stuff that's in the joint. So it's a work in progress. Um, so I know people like to speculate of what's going on there. It's nothing, nothing too crazy other than just that. Yeah, a, a joint that's grams got, of SEOs. Yeah, not, not putting needles in there. Anything funny? Um, my tricep hasn't been injured in any significant way, other than that there's just a, you know, bony calcification within the joint, um, which I guess I could probably do a cortisone shot in there. My mom actually had the same thing in one of her triceps and did do a cortisone shot, which did give her back full extension. I just worry with cortisone can have some weakening effects on the joint and surrounding areas, and for how heavy I press, I'm a little reluctant to do it. Um, if I could manually you know through therapy fix it i would prefer to do that um so we'll give it a few more months and kind of see what progress we make and if it gets to a point where it's like okay we've been doing three months and it got to a point it's not getting any better uh then that might be the next route to go um but until then uh, we're still making progress i'm still hopeful and the physio guy is still hopeful um that we're gonna get this resolved no problem uh so that's where we're at so i've been trying to do as much things as i can to train that outer head um, but when you can't get full extension, 
you can only do what you can do, you know? So that's kind of where we're at. So long story short, um, or not long story short, long story long, that was the long version. <laughs> but that's what's going on, so back to my... <laughs> of it too is that tricep is stronger than the other one which is weird because I'm not handed and that one's mobility is not as good but maybe it's because I'm not fully using that muscle and using other things to support it and that's probably why but but yeah you can see when you're watching it too like if you look close this arm's getting nice and straight and this one is still not getting the full extension on it but um, I'm starting to feel better so just slow process of stuff that's developed over years that we've got to chip away so it ain't quick but uh is what it is. Okay guys, that's a wrap. A little chest and triceps today. Uh, Incline Smith, Flat Atlantis, is that Atlantis, that machine? What's this machine? The Flat Nautilus, Nautilus. Light Nitro Press. Yeah, that one. Uh, did there, three sets there, two normal, one neutral, two pronated, one neutral. Um, incline cable fly with the cast handles, pec deck dips, and then did the cuff extension for my single tricep exercise. Uh, yeah, good workout today. Uh, strength actually felt really good. Um, I had an extra day off yesterday because I was getting my face sewn back up. Uh, so maybe that one extra day was needed. I don't know if needed is the right word. But beneficial. Um, definitely not needed. I, I, my recovery is good, but it definitely didn't not benefit me in terms of my strength and uh, energy today. So that's good. Felt good. Good chest day. We're I guess four and three quarters of a week's out now. Um, I'll be guest posing at Fuad's show in like a week and a half, which I'm excited, nervous, but excited. It's been a while since I guest posed, so that'll be fun. But I'm excited to be out there and see everybody, uh, see Fuad, see all the boys. Um, so if you guys haven't got tickets for that, I have absolutely no idea what the website is, fuadaviachampionships.com or something. I don't know. I'll go to Fuad's Instagram. It'll all be on there. Um, tickets for that. We're going to be doing a live podcast event between pre-judging and finals. Um, I think we have me, Mike Van Wick, Fuad, Paul, Guy, and Melissa will be joining us. So I think there's the four or five of us there um, doing the event. And then I'll be guest posing in the evening. Um, and that's about it. Mark is going to be gone to Europe, Germany, vacation for a little while. So I won't have him to film, but we're going to film back tomorrow. Um, and then maybe I'll get Melissa to film a couple where Mark's gone. But then he'll be back. For Toronto Pro and all that fun stuff so we'll make sure to get all that for you 
Uh, but we'll definitely get more content in the meantime, obviously. But you just want to hear Mark's beautiful voice yelling at me behind the camera, so you can all tell him to shut half the Half the people up. are going to be happy, <laughs> half the people yeah. are going to be disappointed. Yeah, half of you will be upset, and half of you will be uh, glad that he's not shouting your fucking ear through your headphones anymore. So, uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, that's a wrap. We'll catch you next time.